Hello everyone and welcome to another race recap analysis and this is of of course the first event at the World Time Trial Championships in Flanders and this was the men's elite time trial of course it was a 43.3 kilometer course and a flat affair to say the least. The big names on the day of course was Wout Van Aert and Philippe Ugana. On top of that, also the two-time European champion, Stefan Kuhn. They were all looking to replicate their podium positions and maybe try and shuffle them a bit up, depending on their ambitions. Of course, Wout Van Aert and Remco Evenepoel was here for the Belgian Super Nation in terms of cycling, and there was big pressure on them to get the top spot, and potentially Belgium could get a double podium in this time trial. And on top of that, because the World Time Trial Championships have only existed since 1994, we haven't had any Belgian men win the elite title. Of course, Remco Evenepoel had won the junior title back in 2018 and, and also finishing second in the elite one a year after in Yorkshire. But nonetheless, since 1994, no Belgian winners in the discipline of the time trial at the World Championship. So, Wout Van Aert and Remco Evenepoel were very heightened to try and take away this duck if you will, for the nation of Belgium. Nevertheless, Remco Venepoel was the early rider setting the benchmark. He took the fastest time on all three time checks and this looked to be a time that couldn't be challenged. Remco Venepoel's dominance at the first intermediate time check came to an end when Stefan Kuhn, the two-time European champion, managed to get there 11 seconds quicker than the young Belgian. But Remco Venepoel's dominance at the second intermediate time check was not challenged by anyone other than his trade teammate Kespar Eskrein who got closest 17 seconds behind Remco Venepoel. However the eyes all turned after Stefan Kuhn finished behind Remco Venepoel and also Kespar Eskrein fixed on the battle between the defending world time trial champion and then of course also Wout Van Aert who had been supremely dominant on a range of events and also was the second place finisher in Imola and almost won the road race as well. So Wout Van Aert was definitely looking to win the time trial championships and potentially even do the double this year that he didn't quite do last year. When it came to the first intermediate time check there was a seven second gap between the two in favor of Wout Van Aert and it looked like Wout Van Aert was the quicker of the two but then when the riders got to the second intermediate time check 20 minutes later Wout Van Aert had only got a lead of 0.84 seconds so there was nothing in it between Philippe Brugana and Wout Van Aert. When Wout Van Aert got to the finish he recorded a time of 47 minutes and 53 seconds well inside the time of his teammate Remco Evenepoel thereby taking the hot seat and then moments later we saw Philippe Brugana doing what he does best breaking the hearts of a nation such as he did with the Danish Olympic team pursuit team and here Philippe Bugana comes from nowhere and takes the title for a second year in a row and got congratulated by his adversary Wout Van Aert but still it's a good result for uh, Belgium as they take silver and bronze medal and Philippe Bugana the only Italian winner of the World Time Trial Championships manages to add a second title onto his Palmares after a rolling year you would say. So Philippe Bugana the second youngest winner of the Time Trial Championships does it yet again and has set his sight well and truly on the Paru Bay title later on. And unfortunately, Wout Van Aert is not able to put on another rainbow jersey in a different discipline. And we'll maybe see that change in the road race. Other riders of note, Ethan Hayter, the young Brit, managed to finish inside the top 10. And Kespa Eskain did a phenomenal ride to finish fourth on a very sad day for Denmark as Chris Ankersons unfortunately passed away after a crash which just absolutely, well saddened everyone including myself from Denmark. But uh, also Tony Martin managed to finish sixth inside the top 10 so in his final world time trial championship he did his best to well go out in a good position and also Tade Pogaccia was here because there was no Primoz Roglic unfortunately and managed to finish inside top 10 so a good rider from the two-time Tour de France champion and of course friend of the channel Dan Bigham did a solid ride finishing 16th and finishing ahead of a whole host of world tour riders so a good ride from Dan Bigham and any world tour teams if you're watching why not sign him up so anyways that's basically it as always thank you for watching and if you tuned in on the stream as well thank you for that and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out our website as we'll have plenty of preview coverage on there as well and all that's left to say is have a nice day